What's going on, YouTube? Moose 78 back at you with another episode of Stories from the Road. We are on episode number 13. Hope everyone's doing well today, by the way. And this is kind of the season two debut, and I'm just doing that to kind of keep the playlist a little bit more organized for you guys, make the videos a little bit easier to find. And you'll notice uh, something a little bit different, kind of changed up the truck, still driving the 579, but went with the Epic package. So it's a little bit more fuel efficient, full on aero truck, and also now have the Colada skin for the Wabash with a matching truck skin. So now it gives it a real uh, company truck look. So hope everyone enjoys that. I think it looks pretty good. Another good job by Bora on the skins there. Phenomenal job. Today we are heading up to Elko, Nevada. We're starting out in San Francisco, kind of reset there. Taking home accessories, 43,500 pounds. So this should be a good run. About three quarters of a tank on fuel there, so we're good. Just got to adjust my seat here. There we go. Like to be able to see the hood emblem there. Adjust the mirrors. Do -do -do. Should be good there. Good there. Check the right side. Good there. Like that. We'll run with that. Go and get started here. That off the screen. Nothing coming, so we'll roll on out of the gate and head up to Elko. You can tell this thing's heavy. Yeah, to go one there. There we go. That crash didn't happen, by the way. Coming. Dang. Yeah. An eventful start to the trip. Crash that didn't happen. Ticket. It's all good, though. 
not played, eh, not really played much the last couple weeks. Not really since uh, the last stories from the road there about a week or so ago, but I had that recorded about a week in advance, so yeah, it's been a couple weeks. Come on, people, get going. Sorry. I am not killing that thing on that on ramp. But uh, since the last episode, I had to tweak quite a bit of uh, my settings, which wasn't a bad thing. Ended up being a pretty good thing. But uh, hopped on the other day to play and do some recording and everything. And there was a Windows update, I think, the day or two before. And holy shnikes, everything was all sorts of janky. The G27 wasn't wanting to respond. It just kept randomly restarting. The IR track software was doing all sorts of funky stuff. Didn't have any kind of fans, it didn't have the AC on, so there was no interference or anything like that from the wind blowing across the sensors or anything. Gosh, I wish they had fixed this. That is just an accident waiting to happen. But I'd be just sitting driving along and the next thing I know I wouldn't move my head or anything and the software would just go nuts. I would just be looking outside the cab, I'd be looking back at the trailer, I'd be looking to the right, the left, everything. It was nuts. So reinstalled the Logitech Profiler software, reinstalled the IR track software, and everything is back to normal. While I was doing that though, I was watching a video the other day from uh, CSIO Technologies, the maker of the uh, SKRS shifter, and watching how they set all that up and everything. So I actually programmed uh, my shifter to be a true 13 speed, and that's been a lot of fun. Come on, dude. Got my brake, brake sensitivity all sorted out the way I wanted it. Just got to get a little bit more used to the 13 speed. But uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, been pretty cool. Been pretty neat with the actual 13 speed program now. I don't have the SKRS yet really thinking about pulling the trigger on that because that thing is all sorts of cool and I'll link that video down in the description um, on how to set that up if any of you guys do have one or are thinking about getting one they've got a great tutorial on how to set it up and one of the cool things coming up in the next patch for ATS is it will support the SKRS shifter so you won't have to go in and edit any of the files or anything like that it'll just work uh, straight away Exit coming up here.
And one cool thing about the SKRS shipper now is they uh, teamed up with, uh, I believe it was called Easy Jake. Forgive me if I uh, did not get that name correct. But uh, so they have two versions of the SKRS now. Just your standard version, but one that also has a switch on the shifter knob that uh, allows you to hit the jake brake. <laughs> Holy damn, that was close. Thought we were going backwards. I think I finally got the hang of driving this thing. Yeah, I finally learned that uh, you have to engage clutch and brake in order not to kill it. Pro tip of the day, by the way. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry right, guys, I swear I'll get better at this. Do not judge me. I should remember that something, you know, my dad taught me years ago. I mean, it was kind of teach me how to drive an actual truck. Do it. Pickle, you pickle weasel. I'm the last guy you want to play a game of chicken with. I was hoping my uh, procrastination would have, would have paid off this week. Uh, on uh, May 25th, Rock Paper Shotgun uh, produced a really good, or posted a really good article on the upcoming DLC. We'll link that down in the description as well, but uh, Alec Mir did a phenomenal article on uh, the upcoming DLC. Looking at my keyboard. But that article is definitely worth a read. So go check that out. Uh, just talks a little bit about uh, the size of the map. And uh, the title says something to the effect of, you know, the size that the game should have been, you know, from kind of the start. 
So I don't I don't know if they changed the scaling or if they just put more stuff into the map, but I am definitely excited to get my hands on that. And uh, of course, once the open beta drops, we'll be doing uh, some coverage on that. So be on the lookout for that. And you can tell we're getting close to Nevada because starting to pull kind of hard. Come on, you can do it. That'd be cool if there was actually deer that crossed the road. Just kind of dart out in front of you like cars do. No, we're not in Nevada yet, so I better back her down just a skosh. Set the cruise. But yeah, good article over on Rock, Paper, Shotgun about the new uh, Arizona DLC. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys caught it or not. I caught a few minutes of it, then I went back and kind of skimmed through uh, his stream. But uh, Squirrel was streaming it uh, last weekend. Looks pretty good. I'm just excited to get on it, drive around, check it out, check out the new scenery. Sounds like they did a pretty good job. Sounds like the roads are going to be a little bit more challenging to drive on. Hello, Nevada. Let's grab some miles per hour here. Sounds like there's a fair amount, uh, at least from what I gathered, sounds like there's a fair amount of two-lane roads, windy roads, and stuff like that to drive on, so that'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to the Arizona DLC. Curious to see if there's going to be any new trucks. So I didn't catch the entire stream of uh, squirrels there over the weekend so I don't know if there are new trucks or not not sure if that's something they'll add last minute or not but uh, definitely curious to see if there'll be any new trucks and if so what they'll add if they'll add the Volvo I know uh, back when they did the ultimate wheel customization there was a lot of screenshots with the Volvo in it uh, do we need to stop here yes we do Whoa. 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 <laughs> Barely legal. Barely legal. Have a tank of fuel. We'll stop and fuel up.
better be safe than sorry. Take a look at the truck here again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See how close we are to our destination. Well, we still got a pretty good ways to go. Pretty good ways to go. I wish they'd have the AI do that when there's cars merging on to the highway, have them just get over. Maybe not every time, but somehow code it to where it's kind of random, but more often than not, they would get over. All right, guys, go to go and start to wrap this one up. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Be sure to tune in next Tuesday for episode 14 of Stories from the Road. We'll talk a little bit more about the upcoming Arizona DLC. Who knows, maybe between now and that video, the DLC will actually have launched. Or at least the open beta. So be on the lookout for that. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. It's greatly appreciated. And if you could, go ahead and hit that like button. Just helps me out a bunch. Share the video as well. Get some exposure for the channel. And if you're new and not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, we're going to cut out of here. And we will catch you next Tuesday in episode 14 of Stories of the Road. Take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.